some of these tricks that stores use to make you buy more stuff, like having oversized shopping carts or playing music that makes you feel nostalgic. But here are three tricks that websites use to get you to spend more. See if this stands true to you. They offer free shipping, but only if you spend a certain amount. It's almost always higher than the price of whatever you're buying, so you end up adding something else. Best way to avoid that, wait until you have a number of items to go to that website to buy them if you normally shop at that website. That way you'll be able to cover the free shipping. Also, number two, they don't put all the product details on the main page. And it's not just a safe space. study last year found there's something called the TMI effect, where you're actually more likely to buy something if you don't see all the details right away. So that's why a lot of websites make you expand a section or go to another page to see a list of all the specs. I would do it. And sometimes I'll even call the website and talk to the people at the company if I have a specific question I'm still not sure about. And finally, they pretend to have limited time offers, just like infomercials. You know, when it's a commercial, they usually offer something like two for the price of one, but only if you order in the next 10 minutes. And the 10-minute thing is usually a lot of nonsense. It's just marketing. It also applies on websites, like if you're looking at a jacket and there might be something next to it that says there are only four left in your size, which makes you more likely to buy it. That's not always true. And when I'm just putting in my favorite, act now and we'll throw in an additional falafel maker. Just add shipping and handling, right? Yeah, and the shipping and handling is like 25 bucks or something. For what? To take a falafel maker off the shelf and stick it in a box? I don't think so. You filthy criminals. What a bunch of dumbass, stupid dorks.